welcome to this lecture number 14 on uh, unsteady radial flow in confined and unconfined aquifers. And, uh, here in this lecture, in the previous lecture we uh, discussed on unsteady flow into the wells and uh, in uh, this lecture we will be uh, moving on to unconfined as well as unconfined aquifers and of course the flow is radial and the it is unsteady. And here in the uh, this previous uh, lecture, so there was this unsteady flow equation which was solved by two methods that is two graphical methods. One is the time drawdown method as well as the one is I am sorry this uh, the unsteady radial flow in confined aquifers so in the previous lecture we had this uh, we discussed the solution of uh, Thay's equation by two graphical methods namely one by type curves and two by Cooper Jacob approximation. And in uh, this lecture, we will discuss another method for uh, the solution of uh, the Thais equation, which is uh, used in the unsteady radial flow in confined aquifers. And that method is the another method for solution of uh, Thais equation by this uh, developed by Chow. So, which is uh, this that is why this method is known as the Chow's method. Chow's method of solution. So, here what is done is, so in a pumping test, so the a curve is plotted and uh, a semi logarithmic uh, plot, uh, the observe, observation observed data is plotted on a semi log plot. That means the uh, drawdown axis is on a linear uh, this one scale and the time axis is on a, a logarithmic scale and here so this is uh, the on the plotted curve so arbitrary points are chosen uh, and their coordinates that is the time coordinate t as well as the drawdown s so they are uh, determined just like uh, say here, so this is the this is uh, drawdown S and then this is log of uh, time t and here, so this is uh, a tangent to the curve. Uh, at a chosen point and determine the drawdown difference delta s in feet per log cycle of time. So, here actually say that is uh, say suppose this is the say these are the points suppose we are getting. So, 
So, what should be done is, so this is the log t axis and uh, here say this is uh, maybe this is 1, uh, this is 0, this is 1, this is 2, 3 and uh, 4 and so on. So, here say 2 points are chosen on this uh, plot such that the difference in log t is equal to 1 and uh, so that uh, the corresponding difference in this uh, say for example, these are the 2 points and here. So, this is so this dif this difference is 1 where and uh, this is so this difference is uh, delta s that is the change in drawdown per uh, that is uh, one scale difference of the log value of uh, time. And uh, here, so this f u is a parameter which is a function of uh, uh, this well function u, well function parameter. So, this is equal to s the drawdown divided by delta s. So, drawdown divided by delta s, this is delta s and then the original value of uh, this is s here. So, this is uh, the value s, the drawdown uh, the typical value s and then so this is delta s. So, this f by delta s by delta s is uh, uh, denoted as uh, f u. Then what is done is the corresponding values of w u and u are obtained from uh, the figure. So, this figure is uh, so here we have this f u which is s by delta s and then here we have this w u that is the well function. So, here so, the, uh, the corresponding values of w and u are obtained from uh, this figure. So, here uh, this uh, in this, so this f u, so this is also on uh, logarithmic scale. So, this is uh, log scale and w is also on log scale. So, this is a log log plot of uh, f u versus w u and uh, here. So, this curve will have a shape of uh, like this So, initially the slope will be flat and uh, eventually the slope increases. So, this will be the uh, type of the curve and uh, so these along this uh, uh, the curve. So, the values of the well function u are uh, plotted are denoted and uh, here. So, uh, typically so this is uh, say this f u axis may start with uh, 10 to the power minus 1 and then uh, this is 1, this is our other point 1 and then this is 1 and then so this is uh, 10 and similarly here this is uh, so this is uh, 10 to the power minus 2 and then this is 10 to the power minus 1 and then this is uh, 10 to the power 0 or this is 1 and then so here this is uh, 10 and then so on. So, basically both these uh, scales are in a, this is a log log plot and here typically the values of u. So, they start with uh, say 
So, here at uh, the top it may start with say point this u is equal to uh, point triple um, zero one that is ten to the power minus four and uh, so here you will get uh, says ten to the u is equal to here u is equal to point zero zero one and uh, somewhere here you will get uh, u is equal to 0 0.01 and uh, here this is uh, u is equal to 0 0.1 and then so here where the slope changes so rough in this uh, u is uh, 1 and here this all the way it is close to this one. So, this u is equal to say 3. So, typically this is how the value of the well function u uh, changes and then so using this. So, here what is done is so the uh, using this equation that is uh, f u is equal to s by delta s. So, this one it so this f u is equal to s by delta l let us denote this uh, equation as 1 and then so here the corresponding values of w u and u are uh, obtained from the figure that is uh, this figure okay so this is the uh, relationship between fu and wu so this is the chow's relationship between fu wu and u the well function u so this u is the well function And uh, so here what is done is the formation constants uh, that is the transmissivity, the aquifer formation constant with transmissivity. T is obtained by so the equation that is uh, the typical drawdown is equal to q divided by 4 pi t. and uh, into this w so here this w is known s is known q is known and so therefore t can be determined so that is t the transmissivity t is equal to q divided by 4 pi s into w okay and so this is the the first uh, uh, this one the and then next the the storativity the storativity s is obtained by the equation S is obtained by so this is a storativity S obtained by 
the equation that is r square by t is equal to 4 t by s that is the well function equation. So, we know that well function is equal to r square s divided by 4 t into t. So, by this expression we get that is a, so this is the well function equation. From this the store activity s is equal to that is u into 4 pi and u into 4 transmissivity t into time uh, since uh, pumping divided by r square. So, like this using this uh, Chow's relationship between this f u and uh, w u. So, we can determine the formation constants of the aquifer okay. and uh, so now we will move on to the unsteady radial flow in unconfined aquifers. So, this Chow's method is the third method uh, by which we can uh, solve the Thais equation and now we will move on to unsteady radial flow in unconfined aquifers. So far we have seen the, the confined aquifer wherein the uh, uh, it is under pressure and wherein the things are uh, somewhat uh, uh, more straightforward I should say as compared to the uh, unconfined condition. And here in this case, so this uh, there will be it, uh, it uh, represents uh, three types of uh, behaviors. Say so, suppose we plot the drawdown S versus time T on a log scale. So, this is a log of S the drawdown and then the log of T the time since the pumping. So, here so it uh, indicates three different kinds of nature. So, the first one is this segment 1 wherein the slope is uh, quite steep. So, this uh, here we can uh, denote. So, this as the segment 1 wherein the slope is you can say it is relatively steep. Then so, this is uh, what happens is so, the as the time increases the as time further increases the drawdown will just marginally increase and uh, so this one here you can you can denote this as segment 2 or stage 2 segment 1 having a, a relatively steep slope then segment 2 having a relatively flat slope. Then again in the third uh, this one, so this is uh, here you can say, so this is segment 3. So, here what happens is, so the, uh, the gravity drainage and obviously in, an, in this unconfined uh, 
aquifers. So, the drainage is by gravity. And this gravity drainage is uh, not immediate, and obviously, that is why it constitutes an unsteady flow condition, and uh, so the water flow. Uh, water flow towards well uh, in unconfined aquifers is characterized by slow drainage of uh, interstices. So, basically uh, and uh, water flow or rather ground water flow towards a well is uh, towards a well in an unconfined aquifer shows a slow drainage through the interstices or the pores that is why initially what happens is when the pumping starts. So, then so this uh, drawdown increases and uh, this is a drawdown increase uh, uh, st relatively steeply in this first segment and then once so this uh, it has increased so then what uh, what happens is so the uh, here so the that is the the cone of depression so here uh, there will be co compaction of the aquifer as well as expansion of the water as pressure is reduced from pumping. So, initially there is a compaction of aquifer and expansion of water as pressure is as there is a is a reduction in pressure due to pumping. So, this uh, the first segment that is uh, So, the first segment having the steep uh, slope or steep uh, drawdown. So, here what happens is, so this uh, uh, will continue for a very short while and here, so the, the drawdown uh, reacts similar to an unconfined aquifer. So, that means, so here this is uh, the gravity uh, here in this region it more or less behaves like a confined or artesian aquifer or pressure aquifer and afterwards what happens is, so this gravity drainage starts. So, this is basically here you can say this is uh, segment 1, here you can say this is uh, analogous to 
So, here this segment 1 is analogous to say confined aquifer or artesian aquifer or pressure aquifer, confined uh, flow. Next here this segment 2, so here, so this is uh, slow gravity flow in the segment 2 and uh, here, so this is because of the expansion of the cone of depression, so in the in segment 2. there is a expansion of the cone of depression here you can say there is a, gra a gradual expansion of the cone of depression and hence slow gravity drainage And uh, so this continues and uh, next is in the third segment, in segment 3, So, the time drawdown curve almost resembles non equilibrium type curves that is unsteady ground water flow curves. So, and uh, therefore, so there are three distinct segments, segment 1 having uh, analogous to confine, confined flow, segment 2 having slow gravity flow and then in segment 3, so there is this is uh, uh, unsteady flow again which is uh, maybe again somewhat like segment 1 and then uh, again the slow flattens like that. So, here, so therefore, uh, in such case, so this uh, the relationship between the drawdown and the discharge was uh, drawdown S. and uh, discharge Q was uh, developed for a fully penetrating well 
in an unconfined aquifer. by Newman in 1975 as S is equal to the drawdown S is equal to Q divided by 4 pi t, the discharge divided by 4 pi into transmissivity and uh, here, so this is a, so well function of three parameters that is u a, u y comma eta and here where this u a so, each of them uh, represent uh, one segment u a is equal to r square into storativity divided by t t. So, in case of the uh, unsteady flow in a confined aquifer it was uh, uh, the well function u is equal to r square s by 4 t t whereas, in this case so this u a is uh, r square s divided by simply t the transmissivity multiplied by the time since the beginning of pumping. And uh, here, so this is uh, so this is uh, this w of u a u y uh, and uh, so this is the note this is denoted as the unconfined well function u a is given by r square s by 4 t t and then uh, u y is given by r square s y divided by t t and this is applicable for for uh, higher t values higher values of time. So, it represents segment 3 and this uh, eta. So, eta is given by r square k z divided by b square k r. So, here this uh, this k z is the vertical hydraulic conductivity and k r is the horizontal hydraulic conductivity. And obviously, R is the radius and then B is the that is the unconfined aquifer thickness. So, using these three uh, parameters that is uh, this uh, the unconfined well function is uh, more complicated as compared to the well function in case of a confined uh, aquifer, wherein there is only one uh, uh, parameter that is well function parameter that is u is equal to 4 square. Uh, that is r square s by 4 t t whereas, in this case it is a function of three parameters that is u a u y as well as eta. And uh, here the theoretical curves for uh, this u a and u y as well as eta are uh, 
given by this Newman's curves. So, the Newman's curves for unconfined well function. That is W U A comma U Y comma eta. So, here in this Newman's curves we have along the, the vertical axis, of course, here also this is a log log plot and uh, so here we have so, this is a this is a W U A U Y and eta and uh, here it starts with uh, say uh, point zero one then point one this is uh, 1, 10, 100. So, this is the unconfined well function uh, which is plotted along the that is the vertical axis and then here we have that is a uh, 1 by u y. along the horizontal axis. So, it starts with uh, say 10 to the power minus 5, uh, then 10 to the power minus 4, 10 to the power minus 3, 10 to the power minus 2, 10 to the power minus 1, then this is uh, 1, then it further extends. So, this is 10, then this is uh, 10 square or 100 and then this is 10 cube or 1000. And here what happens is, so somewhere between this uh, 10 to the power uh, minus 1 and 1, so here this is the the curve it goes up to, so this is uh, 1. And then similarly, somewhere between 10 to the power minus 5 and 10 to the power minus 4 and uh, so this curve goes up to say a little over 10. And uh, here, so these are the so, this is the here actually let me so this is the phase curve for for one by u a. And this is the Thay's curve for 1 by u y and uh, in between we have, okay, let me use a different uh, color that is one that is uh, So, this is uh, 7 and uh, 
say this is 2 this is 2 and uh, so here this is point 2 and next here this is a uh, point zero zero one. So, this is point two, then this is point zero zero one. So, these are all the, so this is uh, the eta values. So, this is eta is equal to 7, eta is equal to 2, eta is equal to point two, and then this uh, eta So, this is uh, eta is equal to point zero one. So, this is how the theoretical curves for uh, the, uh, as you can say this is the Newman's uh, theoretical curves. for unconfined well function. So, like this here we will get uh, the, it is more complicated as compared to the uh, unconfined uh, flow, radial flow in a, uh, in a confined, uh, I am sorry, unsteady radial flow in a confined aquifer, wherein, so it is, a, there is a, the way, it is only there is a well function parameter that is uh, u is equal to r square s divided by 4 t into t, whereas in this case, so there are, uh, there are uh, three parameters, one is u a which is given by r square s by t t representing the first segment, u y which is equal to r square s y divided by t t which is uh, applicable for the higher values of t representing the third segment and then eta. So, which is uh, a ratio of r square by b square that is the, the distance from the, uh, the well axis, the radial distance from the well axis uh, square of that divided by the square of the, um, the unconfined uh, aquifer thickness of course, that is a uh, itself is a variable and multiplied by the, uh, the ratio of the vertical hydraulic conductivity and the horizontal hydraulic conductivity. So, like this, so the uh, in this uh, the uncon unsteady radial flow in an unconfined uh, aquifer is uh, even though it is the unconfined aquifer is the one which is uh, much, which is the first aquifer as we encounter as we encounter when we go from the ground surface, but here. So, because it is at the top and then so there it is uh, more, uh, it is uh, subjected to uh, more fluctuations because of the uh, natural as well as uh, natural ground water recharge and uh, it is the reason and many times uh, if it is a uh, this one uh, in some cases where the uh, even uh, evaporation may also play a predominant role at uh, if the uh, okay in if there is a, uh, a tro tropical desert uh, kind of situations like oasis or anything so therefore so it represents uh, more uh, intensive so unlike the uh, unsteady radial flow in uh, confined aquifers so this unsteady flow in unconfined aquifers represents uh, more uh, this one. So, now with this we will uh, uh, go to, we will just I will uh, briefly that is uh, start with uh, that is uh, leaky aquifers. So, that is the unsteady flow
and uh, here so these uh, leaky aquifers so they may have either uh, a bottom confining layer which may be leaky or they may have a top confining layer which may be leaky or even both the, uh, the uh, top layer as well as bottom layer may be leaky and of course uh, one if the bottom layer uh, is uh, having uh, is uh, uh, having more perforations or uh, in that case so what happens is there will be uh, the aquifer will be losing water whereas uh, on the other hand if the top uh, confining layer is more leaky as compared to the bottom uh, confining layer so then in that case the this leaky aquifer may gain uh, in terms of ground water so therefore so they it represents an entirely uh, different uh, this one and here so this is uh, the uh, uh, Walton presented the theoretical curves for uh, leaky aquifer so this is uh, so this leaky aquifer may have a, say with single leaky confining or rather uh, confining mean say semi confining layer say leaky that means semi confining layer or with uh, double semi confining layers. So, double means this uh, confining layer may be at the top or uh, as well as at the bottom. So, in this case the theoretical curves were developed by Walton in 19, uh, so theoretical curves for leaky aquifer so this is the Walton's theoretical curves for leaky aquifer so they were developed in the year 1960 and uh, here so similar to the the well function for the unconfined aquifer here we have a well function for the leaky aquifer and uh, that is denoted by w u comma r by b and uh, here we have this is 1 by u and of course uh, both are on this one and here this the axis the w r u comma r by b uh, so that is uh, this is denoted as leaky well function so this is the so in case of confined aquifer it is wu there is a uh, well function that is wu whereas in case of unconfined aquifer we have unconfined well function so that is uh, w u a u y comma eta whereas in this case the leaky aquifer so this is uh, somewhere in between a confined aquifer and an unconfined aquifer so here there are two parameters the first parameter is u and the second parameter is r by b and uh, so this is the the leaky well function that is w u comma r by b and it's uh, the the theoretical walton's theoretical curve so it's uh, here the wu axis will start at say point 0 0.01 and then this is uh, point 0.1 so this is 1 and then 10 and then similarly here the 1 by u axis will start at point 0.1 1 
वन टेन हंड्रेड थाउजेंड एंड टेन थाउजेंड और से टेन टू द पावर फोर एंड हियर सो दिस थे स्कर्व इज द वन विच स्टार्ट समवेयर इन बिटवीन दैट इज पॉइंट वन ओके दैट इज पॉइंट वन एंड वन एंड सो इट स्टार्ट हियर सो दिस इज द थे स्कर्व so here this is uh, r by b is equal to 0.05 and uh, this is the the square and uh, here for the from the same point So this is R by B is equal to 2.5, and in between, so there are uh, different uh, this one. So this is uh, there is uh, R by B is equal to one, and uh, here this is. Uh, R by B is equal to point one. So like that. So this, uh, in this case, the drawdown, which is a function of R and T, is given by Q divided by four pi T into the leaky leaky well function, that is W of U comma R by B. and again so here this u is uh, the same as the uh, confined well function parameter that is r square s divided by 4 t t okay and this and uh, r by b is equal to r into under square root k dash divided by B B dash. Okay, so and this U is uh, the same as the this one, and uh, here this is a uh, uh, here this uh, B dash is the equitard thickness. So this is the. K dash is the hydraulic conductivity of equitard, equitard or leaky aquifer. So that is leaky aquifer, and B dash is the thickness of Equitard, that means leaky aquifer, and uh, K and B are the for the regular uh, aquifer. Okay, we'll uh, stop here and we'll continue uh, in the next uh, lecture. On we'll move on to the further uh, uh, topics in this uh, well hydraulics. Thank you.